God. So this is the lesser. The little one. This is the greater. Inner church. Tantric. Okay. Inner trotrastic. <laughs> Inner trotrastic crest is gonna be the crest in here. Okay. The crest is um, right here. Between the greater and the lesser trochanter, the intertrochanter crest really stands out. The line, the line is very faint. Okay. This is the crest. Stands out. Wonderful. Where's the line of Aspia? It's not on. It, okay, yeah, it is. The linea Aspera. Oh, oh, I didn't get it. It's just linea Aspera. aspera. Linea and the linea Aspera is right there? It's on the back. The no? Yeah. Posterior view. Oh, okay. Linea Aspera. And medial and lateral condyles. So this is a lineal Aspera? Mm hmm. So this is the medial, right? Mm -hmm. The one closer. Medial lateral contacts. Okay. With a little bit. Yeah. The same. Medial. Okay. Medial lateral condyle. Inner condyle fossa is on the posterior heel. Intercondylar fossa. The posterior heel. The depression. Medial and lateral epicondyle. Medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle. So it's Medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle. These bulges here? Yes. Okay. These little, um, just basically small round points <coughs> um, upon the condyles. Medial condyle, lateral condyle, um, intercondyle eminus is this right here. It sticks out. See where it sticks out right here? This whole thing is the intercondyle mm -hmm. eminus. And then we have tibial tuberosity. That's this point right here where it sticks out, tibial tuberosity. And then we have the medial malices, which is this right here where it sticks out the end of the bone. Med medial malices. And that's all you need to know for the tibia. This is the proximal end of the fibula, and this is the... Um, distal end, the lateral malleolus. How do you tell the difference? It's just that this part is pointy. Well, okay. That has a flat end on it. I suppose so. It really helps to look at the articulated skeleton to see how it fits. See, this fits right behind the, um, um, the lateral aspect of the, uh, of the tibia. The mandible. We have the mental tubercles here, the body of the mandible, the ramus of the mandible, the angle of the mandible. We have the um, uh, condylar process here. We have the uh, coronoid process here, the mandibular uh, notch right here and on the inside we have the mandibular foramen on each side okay. so condylar process coronoid process mandibular notch ramus angle body mental tubercles Here's the zygomatic or cheekbone. 
Here we have the um, temporal process of the zygomatic bone, the frontal process of the zygomatic bone, the maxillary process of the zygomatic bone, and the fourth. Okay. Temporal process, frontal process, maxillary process, and fourth of the zygomatic bone. Now we have the maxilla here. We have the zygomatic process of the maxilla, the alveolar process of the maxilla, the frontal process of the maxilla, and the palatine process of the maxilla. So we have four processes, frontal, zygomatic, alveolar, and palatine process of the maxilla. We have the zygomatic arch, which is made up of the temporal process of the zygomatic bone and the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. Zygomatic arch made up of two processes of the zygomatic and the temporal bone. Here is the uh, lacrimal bone and lacrimal fossa or foramen. The two nasal bones, which form the bridge of the nose the anterior nasal spine. Uh, the vomer is the most inferior portion of the bony septum, a single facial bone. Then we have the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone that it sits on. Okay. The um, uh, inferior concha, or facial bones, and the middle concha, um, are um, part of the ethmoid bone and the superior concha also part of the ethmoid bones, which you can't see. Palatine. Palatine yes. bone, okay. We have the horizontal plate of the palatine bone, okay. The right and the left horizontal plate of the palatine bone makes the posterior portion of the hard palate. The anterior portion of the hard palate is made up of the right and left palatine processes of the maxillae.